Download our app available from the App Store and Play Store. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan. Let's look at today's daily bulletin. While considering a plea by an MBBS aspirant with locomotor disability who had been deemed unfit for studying medical education, the Bombay High Court recently ordered his medical re-examination and directed the All India Institute of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation to conduct the same. The concerned student does not have five fingers to his right hand even though his left hand is normal and without any disability. However, he had been disqualified for MBBS admission by the Medical Board of National Eligibility come entrance test. In a shocking incident at a private hospital on Prayagraj wherein the patient diagnosed with dengue died after he was allegedly transfused with fake plasma following the rapid decline in his platelet count. The local sources, however, claimed that the doctors alleged transfused the patient with Mosmi juice, which led to the patient's blood clotting in the veins and his subsequent death. Stressing that the drug product should only be made available with a prescription from a registered medical practitioner, the Subject Expert Committee, that is the SEC, functional under the Central Drug Standard Control Organization, has granted approval to pharmaceutical major Dr. Reddy's laboratories to manufacture and market nemosolite granules for oral suspension, 100 mg, for short term treatment of inflammatory conditions, including joint disorders such as rheumatoid arthritis, post operative painful conditions and fever. Scientists at Swansea University who are developing a platform that would use artificial intelligence to speed up the process of detecting biomarkers in biofluids have shown that the concept could work. It would mean faster test results for health conditions such as cardiovascular disorders, joint quality and even Alzheimer's. The paper was published in the Analytical Chemistry. A new study by investigators from Brigham and Women's Hospital leverages multiple research platforms to systematically identify environmental chemical agents that influence gastrointestinal inflammation. Their findings published in Nature identify a common herbicide, propizamide, that may boost inflammation in the small and large intestine. The researchers conducted their work by integrating IBD genetics databases with a large environmental protection agency database, Toxcast, which includes biochemical data on consumer, industrial and agricultural cultural products. They identified chemicals predicted to modulate inflammatory pathways and then used a novel zebrafish IBD model to test these compounds and determine whether they improve, worsen or did not affect gut inflammation. Next, the researchers used a machine learning algorithm trained on the studied compounds to identify additional chemicals in the Toxcast database likely to promote inflammation. The more hours someone works each week in a stressful job, the more their risk of depression rises a study in new doctors finds. Working 90 or more hours a week was associated with changes in depression symptom scores three times larger than the change in depression symptoms among those working 40 to 45 hours a week. What's more, a higher percentage of those who worked a large number of hours had scores high enough to qualify for a diagnosis of moderate to severe depression, serious enough to warrant treatment compared with those working fewer hours. Pancreatic cancer, stealth-like nature, has the attention of University of Florida scientists who have discovered a way to reverse a key cellular process involved in its progression. UF researchers identified two small molecules that inhibit precancerous cell progression. The molecules also reversed a process known as acinar ductal metaplasia or ADM which precedes pancreatic cancer. According to the National Cancer Institute, more than 60,000 Americans will be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer this year and only about 1 in 10 of those diagnosed will survive the next 5 years. ADM often occurs when inflammation is present. It's a defense mechanism to avoid having the pancreas make too many digestive enzymes and destroy itself. During ADM, stable, enzyme-making ACNR cells turn into protective ductal cells that line the pancreatic duct. If certain genes mutate during the transition, then the cells can become precancerous and eventually develop into cancer. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.